my name is Phoebe and welcome to this Sunday studio which is my new thing so this is a pilot and I'm just trying this out spontaneous and that's how I like to keep my artwork and I wanted to share um, some of my tips and techniques and tools that I've developed over the time as an artist so um, I want to work basically I'm abstract um, focused at the moment so I was starting off very, very spontaneous with lots of gestural movements and mark making. And from here, I'm going to start using different mediums and building up um, the layers of a painting. And I want to share that process with you. So for 20 minutes, um, I'm going to be painting. So this... Um, technique I'm using here is uh, inspired by an artist called Nancy Hillis. You can find her online. And um, it's all about mark making and being spontaneous and building up a lexicon. And notice I'm using my non-dominant hand here, so the mark making should be spontaneous and um, not thought about. So we're really trying to bypass the um, the rational brain when we do this form of painting. But it's a way of um, avoiding getting caught up in worrying about what we're going to do. So, right, I'm going to go in with some painting. So I'm using this abstract paint which comes in a container that is pliable. And I'm um, just squeezing it out. So this is pretty good stuff by Sennelier. So um, I just want to start off with a few really basic colours. So I'm going to go for white and orange. So I'm being quite spontaneous in my choice of colours as well. Um, and I think blue because blue and orange are complementary colours. And um, in abstract it's nice to work with limitations. So I'm a great fan of the palette knife and I've got an old kitchen scales and it's really dirty. I've got loads of old paint on there, but sometimes later on that all comes off in the paint and it adds more texture. So I'm just playing right now. The only colour I haven't got here is, is black, which I shall keep till a bit later. So I'm just going to go in there with some really, um, what would you call, whole colours. So I'm following this line I made earlier, which was really spontaneous. I'm not thinking about what I'm doing, I'm just looking for what we call gestural movements and I'm finding shapes within what I've already created here. So I quite like this blockiness, I'm just going to stick with this. And then I might add a bit of white to this, so you start getting a blend of the two colours. And I quite like that effect. So I'm really not thinking hard about this at all. I'm just kind of using my instinct. And I've built this instinct up over time by just playing. Now, I want a bit of blue. I'm just going to wipe that off because I want clean colours right now. Um... I'm scraping the paint off as I go so you can see the under um, the under scribbles and um, that's what gives it its interesting texture. Now I see another blue shape wanting to go in there. 
Well, I don't want to mix these two because th this will just make a, a, a lovely mud. But I can mix the blue with the white here. So there is a tiny little bit. So now you can see that it's starting to pigment and change. There's an element of green coming through now because I have a tiny bit of orange in the white palette. It's a real mess. But um, I, I tend to get messier as I go, and I try and use all the paint that I've got, but it doesn't always work. But the key is to get nice, kind of pure colour, ch chunky shapes of just a little bit of... So I like to sort of dig in with the palette knife and create um, interesting squiggles within the paint while it's still wet. So I'm cleaning off that again. I'm going back to, again, this, this technique uses a lot of white. It always does. I want to keep that. Nice and pale, maybe a bit more orange. I could feel other colours like red wanting to happen, but um, I can't really risk putting red in there. That's going to create all sorts of dynamic problems. I think what will happen next, I will have to put a lot more white in. Because I want to cover up the canvas. With these, this limited palette, I don't want to go dark just yet. So the darkest colour I'm working with is the blue. Now I'm out of white. This is why it's really good to have. Um, you need a lot of white paint when you're doing this sort of work because you might even just be using the texture of the paint. Um, have I done with lead? Um, anyway, never mind. So I've got more white paint. I've still got a bit of orange I want to use, but I'm going to mix it now. So I'm just, I'm just mixing. Ah, oh, and the, the paint underneath is starting to come off. So this is what's going to give me a little bit of extra. And sometimes I want to follow the line. And you know what? I'm going to dive in there with the blue right here. And now we're starting to mix it up a bit, so that's creating a nice sort of um, green there coming through. And again, white, just brighten that up, that shape. See this all right? So I'm trying to create texture as I go. I don't, I don't want it to be too thick, but I want to have some definition. You see, uh, now here it's just begging for a line to go across there. I don't want to disturb the bottom of the um, the page here. You can see that. Let me just pop that down a little bit. So, um. What I learned again from Nancy Hillis is you don't you don't want to cut the painting off. Sometimes I do it on purpose just to see what that's all about. The whole point with this is the abstract is supposed to lead your eye around the canvas. So um, I'm going to do a bit more blue. I'm feeling the need to sort of. I like using the available boxes. I'll put one on that side so then that's and then this is gonna be really quite green here. So I'm going to go with a bit of white. Now they're all starting to mix together on my palette. 
so it starts to become more potluck about what we're going to get. It's sort of an aqua now, it's really nice. So basically this is the, the potential of just three colours if you get them right. So the orange and the, the blue being complementary opposites this just shows the power of blending um, with the white. And I haven't even gone in with the black yet. There's no dark tone in here. The blue is the darkest we're going to get. So again, I'm still looking for shapes to fill. Um, sort of creating these stretches. I want to go dark there to sort of highlight that. Now I've got a big space up here where I can fill. Yeah, I'm trying to, I'm getting specific there with that particular shape is sort of um oh another mess this is so okay so you can see i'm starting to build it up now okay okay my next move now is to start adding some dark tones so I've got some white paint left. I'm just going to add a little squidge of black because it won't take much. And then I'm going to go into some of these spaces. I want to make that right there. Completely black. Kind of lost that edge a little bit. Nevertheless, right, okay. And then So we're going to go into the greys now, which are oh, lovely. So you get that sort of thundery feel. Let me try to move this around a little bit. Okay. So now we're starting to get some tonality. And I'm going to go again in with the black and it's going here. Right. Now I'm going to again, clean palette knife, um, the palette can stay messy, it's a great lovely mess of paint here but you can see, look at that, so yeah I'm really mixing it up now um, and we've got a few spaces left to fill, I'm feeling the black and the white. So we're going to make a nice grey. It's all starting to dry out and get quite bubbly now. So I'm going to go in there like that. Try and keep the integrity of these shapes now. And maybe now I'm nearly out of white again. So I'm just going to. And maybe a little blues coming into there. And I kind of like that edge as it is. 
carved on it there. And I'm going to, ooh, that's really gooey. We're nearly out of clean paint now. This is all getting quite mixed up. But I like these tones. They're, um, kind of, uh, neutrals I'm really starting to run low on paint now so lovely kind of slaty blue there um so yeah i'm literally down to scrapings here so i'm i'm at the end of my beautiful palette i'll just do a few little fills here that's quite an ocean color And so it goes. So that's how I build up a piece of abstract art. And um, if you'd like to join me for more, I'll be um, trying to do this every Sunday as my um, painting practice. And also it's studio time and you get to see some new techniques, some new attitudes towards art, um, which hopefully you can carry into every segment of your life and think more creatively so yes join me on um uh sunday studio uh with ptartworks.com that's where you can find me online um p t as in phoebe thomason and you can find me on facebook at bright moon studio uk i think bright moon studio all right then um Happy painting, happy experimenting and uh, see you next time.